So let's continue. Warning, possible interloping negatives. Earlier we talked about the non-economic good of the horse and the nigger in their wild or natural state. We talked out the principle of break, I think that was meant to be, we talked about the principle of breaking and tying them together for orderly production. Furthermore, we talked about paying particular attention to the female savage. <laughs> These people have some very interesting words and her offspring for orderly future planning. Then more recently, we stated that by reversing the positions of the male and female savages, we created an orbiting cycle that turned on its own axis forever unless a phenomenon occurred and reshifts and positions of, see, re, re, and reshifts and positions of the male and female savages. Again, there are some typos in here. So they, fear a phenomenon happening that's going to reshift the minds. Because listen to what it says here. Our experts warned us about the possibility of this phenomenon occurring, for they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time. If I can touch some substantial original historical base and they advise us that the best way to deal with the phenomenon is to shave off the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions so that each illusion will twirl on its own orbit, something similar to, uh, to floating balls in a vacuum. So they fear that we will come back to our senses. So in order to avoid that happening, we are going to shave off their history. They don't know themselves. Do you see this? But God has an interesting way of making things come full circle. When man think they can control nature, God's going to show them, you, you don't run this. You might think you got this for a season, but when the tables turn, and they know the table's going to turn, Do your genealogy. That's why I mentioned what I mentioned earlier about, you know, looking back, finding out who you are. They have changed so much. They have changed so much that you might think you're an African, but indeed you are. Maybe not. Maybe you are not. Please remember, some of you may not know this, but when Mr. Columbus came to the Americas, people were there. Melanated people were there. Mm, listen, anyway, this is not that type of video. You know, I do a lot of reading and thank God for my husband who put a lot into me, who intellectually stimulate me and share so much knowledge, impart so much knowledge into me. The man is our protector okay anyway <laughs> let's continue this creation of multiplicity of phenomena phenomena of illusions entails the principle of crossbreeding the nigger and the horse as we stated above the purpose of which is to create a diversified division of labor thereby creating different level levels of labor and different values of illusion at each connecting level of labor. The result of which is the severance of the points of original beginnings for each sphere illusion. Since we feel that the subject matter may get more complicated as we proceed in laying down our economic plan concerning the purpose, reason and effect of crossbreeding horses and nigger, we, sorry, we shall lay down the following definition terms for future generations. <laughs> They're making sure that their future generations understand. We need to teach our children so that our future generations will know what was done and we make the right changes, okay?
stop fighting against each other that's what they want let's build let's attack this and build back our image and get back to greatness but anyway orbiting cycle means a thing turning in a given path axis means upon which or around which a body turns phenomenon means something beyond ordinary conception and inspires awe and wonder <laughs> Multiplicity means a great number. Sphere means a globe. Cross breeding a horse means taking a horse and breeding it with an ass. Pay attention to this part, okay? Cross breeding a horse means taking a horse and breeding it, it with an ass and you get a dumb, backward ass, long-headed mule that is not reproductive nor productive by itself. Cross breeding niggers mean taking so many hmm, drops of good white blood <laughs> and putting them into as many nigger women as possible, varying the drops by the various tone that you want, and then letting them breed with each other until another cycle of color appears as you desire. What this means is this. Put the niggers and the horse in a breeding pot, mix some asses and some good white blood, and what do you get? You get, you got a multiplicity of colors of ass backward, unusual niggers running tied to a backward ass long-headed mule. The one productive of itself, the other sterile. The one constant, the other dying, we keep the nigger constant for we may replace the mules for another tool. Both mule and nigger tied to each other, neither knowing where the other came from and neither productive for itself nor without each other. <sighs> Do you hear how they've described the breeding or cross breeding of melanated people and themselves terminate good and then the offsprings they call them backwards unusual niggers running around and neither is good by itself or with the without the other right is that what it says it says neither knowing where the other came from and neither productive for itself nor without each other so on your own you can't do nothing and you can't do it without each other because you're just confused and it's interesting now i need to say this this is why i say we need to stay within our groups i know you know you know some of our favorite content creators be like hey you know we need to start stepping out of our race we need to start doing this i understand it, it's it's crazy within our community but stepping outside is playing into their hands but if you read this part of the book right the other part the white people it's okay for them to breed with our melanated women but oh if a melanated man was to ever dare breed with their thing oh death you are hung all of these horrible things so when y'all want to step out and go do this remember what was happening to you back then don't forget do not forget right when i read this it really you know upset me when i read all of this because i'm just like <laughs> who stay within your own race guys stay within your own race i advocate that i am pro my community my people melanated people okay anyway control the language Crossbreeding completed, for further severance from the original beginning, we must completely annihilate the mother tongue of both the new nigger and the new mule and institute a new language that involves the new life's work of both. You know language is a peculiar institution. It leads to the heart of the people. 
the more a foreigner knows about the language of another country, <laughs> the more he is able to move through all levels of that society. Therefore, if, a, if the foreigner is an enemy of the country, to the extent that he knows the body of the language, to that extent is the country vulnerable to attack or invasion of a foreign culture. For example, if you take a slave, if you teach him all about your language, he will know all your secrets and he is then no more a slave for you can't fool him any longer. That's why you should read. Read. I'm telling you. Read. Start reading one book and it will lead you to another book and another book and another book. Like I've shared with you, I spent over a hundred pounds in one week on books, buying up all these different books. And I had to start myself because I wanted to buy more and more books. I have so many books that I haven't yet re read, but trust and believe I am going through them. Don't play with me. Those that know me, when it comes time to teach you to sit down and put pen to paper, I always get results. My husband know that too. He knows it too and he, he champions me. He's like, you know what girl? What you got in there? Anyway, <laughs> for example, if you told a slave that you must perform that he must perform in getting out our crops and he knows the language well, he will know that our crops didn't mean our crops and the slavery system will break down for he would relate on the basis of what our crops really meant. There is this book called Double Speak. You will be amazed. Just like he says, if they know, if you say our crops and the slave is very versed in your language, English language, he will use it against you. He will use it against you. And he's no longer a slave because he knows what you mean. This book, will show you how they use double speak. So basically they'll say something, but that is not exactly what it sound that it, it well, it's not exactly what they meant. That it has a whole different meaning. And I have been very good at kind of like catching them out sometimes. <laughs> I won't even say sometimes. I'll just say most times. I catch them out most times. Oh, I've caught them so many times and they want to say, oh, da, da. I'm like, oh, excuse me. I know how to read. Uh, I can give you so many stories on my successes dealing with them. And also you need books like this, okay? This is the 11th edition, okay? This is a law dictionary. Trust me, when I was going through some of the words in here, this got over 3,000 pages, okay? This is the 11th edition. This book cost me almost 100 pounds, just this one book here. I want the first edition. It is 262 pounds, 99 pence. I'm going to buy it because there are some things that has been taken out of this book that is in that book. And when we know um, dealing in law, they use everything. So you better be clued up when you're dealing with these people, okay? So you might see me over here on YouTube sharing my opinion here and there. Don't think I'm stupid. Behi you know, behind all the cameras, we get down, okay? This is just something I enjoy doing. <laughs> but you really need to read, really need to understand what is going on because they will use words against you, okay? They will use a lot against you. Understand the difference between legal and lawful. Okay, nonetheless, we're on the last um, paragraph of this book and I really hope that this book was an eye opener, but let's just get it done. Okay, so you have to be careful in setting up the new language for the slaves would soon be in your house talking to you man to man and that is death to our economic system. 
read, okay? Read and stop listening to the stupid music that they be playing and watching stupid m movies and shows that's not really nurturing you and helping you become a better person. They fear that you will understand their language and use it against you because what did he say? That is death to our economic system. In addition, the definitions of words or terms are only a minute part of the process. That's why you need books like these. Oh, this is a heavy book. You need books like these and many other books. Oh my God, I should have bought more of my books in here. Though there is this one about social engineering. And, okay. <laughs> social engineering and um, mass. Um, damn, what is it called again? Thought, I can't remember. But when you really read these books and take in what is going on you are going to be amazed and your eyes are going to be open and you're going to be very aware anyway so definitions things that you think it means something oh trust me it doesn't mean that it doesn't that's why that dictionary there is very good i went through that dictionary once and I found the word assault and um, I just opened it and I was landed on that word and the things that I realized assault meant I was like wait what you know you can actually assault me by not even touching me by um, making me think something that can be assault it depends on the context though when I read the book I was like so wait, I don't even have to touch you and I can physically assault you. So when somebody said, oh, you assaulted me, you know, like how back in the days when those white ladies would be like, oh, he did this to me and the man probably didn't even do nothing to her. I mean, they write the laws for themselves, right? Technically, you, 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 you can assault me without putting your hands on me. But nonetheless, I'm almost done. Let me just finish it. In addition, the definitions of words or terms are only a minute part of the process. Values are created and transported by communication through the body of the language. <laughs> Read, okay? A total society has many interconnected value system. All the values in the society have bridges of language to connect them for orderly working in the society. But for these language bridges, these many value systems would sharply clash and cause internal strife or civil war. The degree of the conflict being determined by the magnitude of the issues or relative opposing strength in whatever form. For example, if you get a slave in a hog pen, and train him to live there and incorporate in him to value it as a way of life completely, the biggest problem you would have out of him is that he would worry you about provisions to keep the hog pen clean or the same hog pen and make a slip and incorporate something in his language whereby he comes to value a house more than he does his hog pen. You got a problem. He will soon be in your house and that concludes the Willie Lynch letter now I know there were a lot said in there but I feel like it really honed in on the issue or the cause why women and men are the way they are today especially of our nation because you notice you always hear everyone say why is it only melanated people why is it only us why is it always us that we can't get it together Think about it. That is why we can't get it together because we were attacked and we were, our ancestors were enslaved and psychologically, you know, <laughs> attacked, okay? Brainwashed. Things were instilled in them and it continued and continued and continued for years. And then they start adding more things to it, welfare systems and all of these different things. I should have got my other book called The Silent Weapons um, for Quiet Wars as well. Oh my God, you would understand that <laughs> you cannot trust these people, okay? And now they've left us fighting between each other. This is funny to them. This is fun and games to them. This is their plans. 
let's get it together now hopefully this video would shed some light and allow us to understand where it all began and why it is the way it is today hopefully we can work as a collective and make things better because yes I agree women we need to be held accountable but I hope we understand why because so much work was done on us mostly to break us so that we don't depend on our men and then our men the young boys they were raised to be dependent on the woman that yeah I'm strong I'm big I can go out there and fight and whatever but the powers that be back then wanted it that way so that our men could go and work for them as well and our women stand, stand guard for them protecting them because they know if our men come back to their true nature and we fall in line like we are supposed to it is over for them they fear this phenomenon they want to erase our history and you ever notice like when you try and um, research history like pre-slavery you can't find no information on the internet pre-slavery that's why they say whoever win the war they make the rules they can rewrite history and it starts from there who were we before what were our customs? Hey, we, hey, guess what? We can't find that out because it says, hey, we have to erase their history. But water has memory. DNA is water. And <laughs> some things I could say. I wasn't going to say universe if that's what you were thinking, but the Akashic Records, yes. It's true. The universe. God created all of this. We can get back to who we were. We can find out. Gotta connect with the Most High God, the creator of the universe, the world, everything that is in here. This place that we live called Earth. Anyway, this video was just simply to read this letter. Um, I could go and talk and talk and talk about the things that I really like talking about, but you know, I really want to help us make the change. And I really believe going back to where the issues started will help us, you know, uncover things and start working in, um, like have the starting point to start working from rather than just pointing fingers oh you did that you did that you did this da 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 and everyone just pointing blame and no one is fixing nothing just cussing each other out modern woman this modern men that men ain't doing this woman ain't doing that now that we know where it all starts let's get our boots on strap it up tie it up women as well and men and women put our men in the front and we support them and we make this happen I don't know if this video is even gonna get much views because I know y'all just want to come for the drama or maybe YouTube probably shadow ban me or whatever I don't even know but I am here for our people our community I want to improve the image and I hope this video is a starting point but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video